Board in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. A civil society group is sticking out its neck for the embattled Minister of Interior, Ulubume Tunji Ojo. TVC News Jokia reports. Since the 37.1 billion naira scandal broke out in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation in late 2023, there have been consequences, apart from the former minister, Sedia Umar Farouk, and her successor, Betayudu. An alleged 44 billion naira led to the sack of the chief executive officer of the Nigeria Social Investment Program Agency, NSIPA. Also under the radar of the anti graft agency is the Minister of Interior and a former member of the House of Representatives, Olubumi Tunjiojo, a leaked memo circulating online showed how six companies got a three billion euro deal to verify the National Social Register. One of the companies said to have received 438.1 million naira as consultancy fees was linked to the Minister of Interior. While he did not deny or confirm the company received the alleged sum, the minister said he resigned from being a director of the organization five years ago, but he is still a shareholder. News reports suggest that the minister has met privately with President Bola Tinumbu over the matter. So While the EFCC widens the scale of investigations, this civil society group believes linking the minister to the alleged fraud is an attempt to smear his hard-earned reputation and integrity. It calls on President Bola Tinumbu to disregard all dissenting voices against the minister. As, watchdog, as watchdogs of the society, we are not partisan to social media judgment, court or condemnation. We do not buy into activities of keypad warriors casting as passions. Therefore, we condemn in all its entirety the discordant public opinion regarding the Minister of Interior, Honorable Olubumi Tunji Ojo's involvement in the 438 million humanitarian ministry contract. And we aim to set the record straight for clarity and for the avoidance of public bias, perception, and judgment. The group wants Nigerians to appreciate the dynamism of the minister and the innovations he has brought into the system since his appointment. The minister, Tunjojo, at the Nigerian Immigration Service, orchestrated the clearance of an overwhelming backlog of 2,000, 2004, 333 passports within a record-breaking three-week period. Please, they deserve a round of applause. While the position of the civil society group may be a soothing balm to the heat being faced by the minister, Nigerians eagerly await the outcome of all probes into the alleged scandal, and it is only then that the truth will suffice.